Next time you come back to the posture and you're ready for the next one. Inhale, right leg lifts. Exhale, step it down. Slowly lift your hips, drop your back heel, and see if you can keep your right fingertips down and begin to straighten your leg just a little bit. Okay, so the leg doesn't need to be straight for this pose, just straight knee. So straighten the leg a little bit. Again, take this shoulder blade onto your back, navel in a lot, and sweep your arms straight up to the sky this time for a variation of Trikonasana, triangle pose. So the thing here is not necessarily to get that leg jamming straight right now, but to feel an openness in the hips, an indrawn navel, and an open heart here. Okay, over time, you reach the bottom of your rib cage a little bit longer. Feel free to use a block here or hang on to your shin higher and see what you can do about straightening the leg as you go. With dedication, it's going to open, no problem. But right now, be where you're at and just feel into it. Okay, stay in alignment, take a deep breath in. Exhale, bend the front knee once again. We're going to inhale again, back to reverse warrior, breathing. Exhale, release both hands, back to downward facing dog. Do it on the left side as well, always. All right, next time you come to this place, starting the next sequence, inhale the right leg. Exhale, step it forward, ground the back heel. This time we're going to take both hands to the inside of your front foot. And you're going to bring your hands to your heart at Namaste. Try to squeeze the knee into the shoulder and lift your navel a lot. Breathing here, just for a few moments of inner thigh strengthening. And then exhale, bowing in getting a nice hip opener. All right, depending on your flexibility, you can try reaching through and reaching for that full bind. You might not get it. Left arm around the back, right arm underneath the thigh. Squeeze the leg in and open your heart a little bit. Good, maybe three breaths here. And then on your exhale, release your hands all the way down, step back down, we're facing dog, and walk it out. So even if you kind of look like a drunken sailor at first when you practice these poses, that's okay, we all did. So you refine them over time, you do a seed of what I'm doing here, and you'll build it and grow it as you go. So you can watch it transform. Left side after that, vinyasa, and then next time returning to downward facing dog. We're going to scoop the tailbone, inhale forward plank pose, holding plank. Lift your navel a lot. I want you to walk your feet together behind you and roll to the right side of your feet. Stacking the feet on the outer side of the, of the right foot. Keep your hands planted down and press and lift into a side plank, downward dog variation. Keeping your hips high, step your top foot halfway up the mat and you can be here breathing. Try to lower the hips again a little bit just to this knee height. And maybe over time, you can take that left arm up, stretching the hips and strengthening that side abdominal area. Inhale, reaching up. Exhale, returning downward facing dog. And you'll take that side plank series on the other side, breathing as much as you need to to build endurance, holding the pose as short or as long as you wish. All right, returning to downward facing dog. Inhale, lift the right leg. Exhale, step the foot forward. This time we're going to come on up to high lunge. Reaching the sky, working on some balancing postures now. Exhale, hands to your heart at Namaste. Step your back foot in. This bottom leg does not have to be straight right now, but keep your hips squared and work the bottom leg straight over time. Top toes are turning down towards the floor. You really draw up through the navel strongly, moving into this warrior three. Breathing here, inhaling and exhaling. I try for three to five breaths here. And then when you're done, bend the knee a little bit more, plant your hands on the floor or a block, and bow your head towards your standing leg, lifting the back leg as high as you can. Good. So now, bent standing leg is always trying to straighten, but you're pressing your boundaries wider. You're not ever pushing it. All right, there's a good difference there. So drawing into the navel from this bowed in place, keep your right fingertips down, draw the belly in, and send your left arm to the sky for Ardha Chandrasana, half moon. Now the hip opens, the toes turn out, keeping the knee bent, but drawing the navel in, 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 and spinning your heart. And then you work towards that straight leg, 
right? Over days, over sessions. Take a deep inhale here. Exhale, release both feet. Step together at the front of your mat. Inhale, offer. This should feel really nice. Exhale, fold. Take a few breaths here. And when you're finished, you can slowly reach up. Exhale, bow forward. Finding your downward facing dog. And doing that on the other side. All right. And almost our last one. Inhale, lift the right leg high once you've done both sides of that last one. Exhale, step the foot forward. Look forward, prepare. And we're going to send the hands forward back into that warrior three preparation. So the back toes turn down, the hips really square. Standing leg can be straight. And you can add or bend. You can absolutely bring your blocks down and kind of hang there. Make sure they're a little wider than the shoulders and underneath the shoulder area. Okay, so what we're going to do is lift up through the navel, bent leg, circle the right arm, same arm as the standing leg, to the sky for a nice outer body stretch, outer hip stretch here. This is reverse Ardha Chandrasana. Good. We're going to exhale, place the hands back down on the blocks. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, bow in a little bit more. And this time you can open your top leg and go deeper. Inhale, lift the leg. Exhale. We're just going to switch sides here because this one gets pretty intense. So lift the back leg again. Bend the knee. And with the bent knee, navel draws in to stabilize your pelvis. Sweep that left arm straight up. So you're twisting the heart open, but you're really dropping this standing leg down towards the floor. And then, of course, again, in time, the leg straightens and you express the pose more and more physically. You can be exactly in full expression, full advanced expression, if you're here, too. All right, inhaling a lot. Exhale, plant the hands on the blocks, and bow forward. Try for a little more height now. So a little different stretch in the groins and hamstrings. Inhale, stretch up. Exhale, plant your feet all the way down. From here, inhale. Exhale, fold. All right, coming up, bend the knees. Draw into your navel and sweep your arms to the sky for fierce pose. If this is a lot for you, press here on your thighs and help yourself out. But do draw the navel in and try to sit down nice and deep. All right, we're going to do an Ardha Chandrasana chair pose flow here. Very powerful for all areas of the body. You have to breathe though. So inhale, reach way up. Exhale, plant your hands on the blocks or fingertips to the floor. Inhale. Lift the left side up and open Arte. You can keep the bottom leg bent. Exhale, return, bent knees, fold in. Inhale, take the right side up. I would look straight down at the floor this whole time to anchor the gazing point and help yourself balance. So we begin inhaling. Now you can hold any of this as long as you wish, but I tend to do it in one breath each movement so it starts to flow. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. It's immensely detoxing and invigorating for your energy. So inhale. Many times as you want to do that, I maybe do it three to five times on each side. And then you'll inhale one last time to chair pose. This should feel very fiery, but you're going to breathe more. Inhale, lift. Exhale, clasp your hands behind you and fold. Good. Bent knees moving towards straight legs. In time, heart's reaching down towards the floor. Stretching here and breathing. Good. Bend the knees here. Plant your hands. Step back, downward facing dog. So here's a nice stretch. Starting to move into a different sequence now. So we're going to be here. Step the right foot forward. Ground the heel. Come up warrior two. Clasp your hands behind you. Try one inhale and one waterfall warrior, moving all the way down. And from here, as you sweep your head towards the center of the mat, you're going to turn your front toes to parallel the back foot. So with bent legs right now, stretch the inner thighs back towards fan pose, getting a nice deep stretch here. Sometimes that's a nice way to get in. And then exhale, releasing your hands to the floor. Turn your front toes again. And try for a reverse warrior. That's a nice little flow. You'll build it over time. Exhale, release your hands down.